So yesterday, I mean, a few days ago, for the first time we learned things like getting on stage, off the stage, bowing, getting your partner spun to bow, and a bit about floor craft. That's one of the things I'm not in love with about leading is the watching out for other people, especially on the social swing floor, lots of collisions. Most of the time I am having collision, I'm led by a girl. And as much as I love, you know, girls can do anything guys can do, I, we do have our natures. And a lot of times when a girl is leading, they'll start you through a turn and halfway through decide not to do that. And so you think you've done something wrong when in reality they just change their mind. Whereas guys, more likely, once they start something, they've decided it and it's happening. Someone actually told me, we start off the semester with more girls in you know, taking ballroom because they'll figure they'll just try it. And then when they decide it's not for them, they don't. Whereas for a guy to wrangle the urge to go to the ballroom, if he's actually going to make it to the ballroom, he's committed, he's going, he's doing it. You know, if he's seen the first time, that's as good as 10 times, so he's doing it. Although we really did lose a lot of guys, but I think a lot of them went back to swing. Anyway... <clears throat> So not only did I have to worry about the watching out for people and then the remembering the moves and then making the decision to turn them or do whatever and stick with it, I had a whole new element. Not only guiding them on and off the floor and then spinning them at the end and bowing, I had to worry about making sure my number was seen. We just learned that. And I it wasn't as bad as I thought. It, it wasn't the most difficult, but it was something I was definitely conscious of. And thankfully... I was able to turn fairly naturally and make sure the number was seen, but it was just one more thing to be thinking about, which is why I did not mind that I, you know, I just went a little bit stupid today because I had, you know, so much to focus on. I just wanted to focus on what really mattered to me and what I was doing and having ADHD and running on my own time clock, it's very likely that I'm not where I'm supposed to be at the right time or, you know, I, I don't know where I'm supposed to be or that I'm called. So I stayed pretty on top of that and that was, that helped a lot. But I found you just can't enjoy watching the other dancers quite as much when you have to worry about performing shortly. Whereas I'm really glad I went to the competition recently as a spectator so I could just relax, sit, and just watch. But what's funny is, even though I'd had things explained to me, I couldn't really understand the callback process and how you know, and I couldn't understand it was one other thing, I don't know, with the ribbons maybe, or, you know, how you, how you know where you're supposed to be. And I was paying attention to the same thing, hearing the same, next up we have this called, but I think when, when you have to do it, your ears are listening in a more perked up kind of way, and that's helpful, whereas when you're just a spectator, it kind of goes in one ear, out the other. The analogy I made in one of my lost recordings was, it would be like if you had some really crazy costume to wear and someone described it to you. You can hope you know what they're talking about, but if you at least see it, then you have an idea what they mean. Even if you haven't tried it on yet, at least you can start to visualize what that's like. So if you're thinking about anything with ballroom, I highly recommend you go and watch a competition, whether you think you'll compete or not. And frankly, even if you're not that interested in learning ballroom, but want something to do, it's either free or very cheap to go watch a ballroom performance and it's really fun. I mean, to me, obviously, it's way more fun than most sports games. But really, I mean, you've got the competition. So if you're into sports, that should be appealing. You've got beautiful gowns. And if you're a guy who's into girls, then that's appealing. And uh, if you're a lady who likes guys, then the Latin costumes for guys, the higher level you get, the, the, uh, the more open <laughs> the shirts get. So... You know, uh, depending on your interests, there's lots of motivation to go to a ballroom competition, at least as a spectator. And everyone loves to be encouraged by the audience members. So, you know, give it a try.